Welcome to Prayer Anywhere Worship. Thank you to the Center for Spiritual Formation for providing this litany today. O thou good omnipotent, who so cares for every one of us, as if thou cares for him alone. And so for all, as if all were but one. Blessed is the man who loves thee, and his friend in thee, and his enemy for thee. For he only loses none dear to him to whom all are dear in him, who cannot be lost. And who is that but our God, the God who made heaven and earth and fills them, even by filling them and creating them. And thy law is truth, and truth is thyself. Behold how some things pass away that others may replace them, but thou dost never depart, O God. My Father, supremely good, beauty of all things beautiful. To thee I will, I entrust whatsoever I have received from thee, so shall I lose nothing. Thou made me for myself, and my heart is restless until it repose in thee. Lead me, Lord, in your righteousness, and make my way plain before your face. For it is you, O Lord, and yours only, who makes me dwell in safety. The Psalter Like the deer that yearns for flowing streams, so may my soul yearn for you, O God. My soul is thirst for God, for the living God. When shall I appear before the face of God? My tears have become my food day and night, as all day long I am taunted. Where is your God? I pour out my soul when I think about these things. How I would lead the rejoicing crowd to the house of God amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving, a throng wild with joy. Why be so downcast, and why these sighs? Hope in God, I will praise my Lord and my God. I am downcast as I think of you from the land of Jordan and of Hermon, from Mount Miser, deep is calling, deep by the roar of your cataracts. Have all your waves and breakers rolled over me? In the daytime, and even at night, the Lord sends me faithful love. The song it inspires in me is a prayer to the living God. I will say to the God of my strength, Why have you forgotten me? Why must I go around in mourning, harassed by the foe? With cries that pierce me to my heart, my enemies revile me, saying all the day long, Where is your God? Why so downcast? Why all these sighs? Hope in God. I will still praise my Lord and my God. As the deer panteth for the water, so my soul longeth after Oh, no, no. 
tend his flock like a shepherd and gather them together with his arm. He will get he will carry the lamb in his bosom and lead the ewes to water. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 11. Old Testament lesson Exodus 10 verses 8 through 11. And Moses and Aaron were brought again unto Pharaoh, and he said unto them, Go serve the Lord your God, but who are they that shall go? And Moses said, We will go with our young and with our old, with our sons and with our daughters, with our flocks and with our herds we will go, for we must hold a feast unto the Lord. So Moses and Aaron were brought back to Pharaoh. All right, go and serve Jehovah your God, he said. But but just who is who is it you want to go? We will go with our sons and daughters, flocks and herds, Moses replied. We will take everything with us, for we must all join in the holy pilgrimage. In the name of God, I will not let you take your little ones, Pharaoh retorted. I can see your plot. Never. You that are men, go and serve Jehovah, for that is why you asked for. And they were driven out from Pharaoh's presence. There is a Sabbath rest that still awaits the people of God. For anyone who enters God's rest, rests from his own work as God did from his. Let us then make every effort to enter that rest so that no one may fall by following the evil example of unbelief. Although God's promise still stands, his promise that all may enter his place of rest. We ought to tremble with fear because some of you may be on the verge of failing to get there after all. For this wonderful news, the, the message that God wants to save us has been given to us just as it was to those who lived in the time of Moses. But it didn't do them any good because they didn't believe it. They didn't mix it with faith. For only we who believe God can enter into his place of rest. He has said, I've sworn in my anger that those who don't believe me will never get in, even though he has been ready and waiting for them since the world begun. We know he is ready and waiting because it is written that God rested on the seventh day of creation, having finished all that he had planned to make. Even so, they didn't get in, for God finally said, they shall never enter my rest. Yet the promise remains, and some get in, but not those who had the first chance for they disobeyed God and failed to enter. But he has set another time for coming in, and that time is now. He announced this through King David long years after man's first failure to enter, saying in the words already quoted, Today when you hear him calling, do not harden your hearts against him. This new place of rest he is, is talking about does not mean the, the land of Israel that Joshua led them into. If that were what God meant, he would not have spoken long afterwards about today being the time to get in. So, there is a full, complete rest still waiting for the people of God. Christ has already entered there. He is resting from his work, just as God did after the creation. 
let us do our best to go into that place of rest too, being careful not to disobey God as the children of Israel did, thus failing to get in. Sometimes mid scenes of deepest gloom, sometimes where Eden's bowers bloom, by water still or over troubled sea, still tis his hand that leadeth me. He leadeth me, he leadeth me, by his own hand he leadeth me. His faithful follower I will be, for by his hand he leadeth me. Kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it, is, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. The closing prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, who did say to thine apostles, Come ye apart into the desert place and rest a while, for there are many coming and going. Grant, we beseech thee to thy servants have gathered here gathered, that they may rest a while at this present time with thee. May they so seek thee, whom their souls desire to love, that they may both find thee and be found of thee. And grant such love and such wisdom to accompany the words which shall be spoken in thy name, that they may not fall to the ground, but may be helpful in leading them onward through the toils of their pilgrimage to that rest which remains to the people of God, where nevertheless they rest not day from thy perfect service who with the Father and the Holy Spirit lives, and reign ever one God, world without end. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. We hope to see you again soon. <laughs>